Um, I think in my view, and based on obvious facts that the media has tried to systematically cover up, there were so far 170 people dead in, in Gaza, for, over 40 which are children <laughs> under the age of 20. And they want to talk about a ceasefire. See, I don't really believe there really would ever be a ceasefire because how can you really have a ceasefire with a whole nation that is deprived of their basic human rights and their basic needs? See, it's funny because I, like, I actually saw a few people quoting Obama saying, what nation on earth would allow rockets being fired on them or at it? It's funny because I think the UK government and the US government seems to be okay and seems to be tolerating fire, rockets being fired on a nation as long as that nation, as long as those people are Palestinians, besieged Palestinians, occupied Palestinians. It seems that they are tolerating it every single day that they keep silent. And I just find it strange how they want to talk about peace when we got, is, we got racist, indirect racist columnists like Leon de Winter stating the other day, suggesting that the water in Gaza should be sterilized with birth control tablets. Now that's funny, he said that in front of a whole crowd of Dutch Jews and they all literally like burst out in laughter. I think that's pretty disgusting. I don't know how they can talk about self-defense and peace when you've got a thousand, more than thousands and thousands and thousands of Palestinian political prisoners trapped in Israeli dungeons today and they want to talk about peace. How dare they go on about, how dare they continue with a quasi-peace process when there's thousands and thousands of political prisoners trapped in Israeli dungeons? How dare they talk about peace when you've got a for, the son of a former Israeli minister saying, and I quote him saying in his Jerusalem Post article, we should destroy Gaza because the US didn't stop with Hiroshima. Well, guess what? You know what he's right about? He's right that the US didn't stop with Hiroshima because Israel didn't stop with their Operation Matate in 1948 when they ethnically cleansed thousands and thousands of innocent Palestinians which resulted in millions of Palestinian refugees around the world. And actually, that was carried out by the Haganah, which is now, by the way, run, they run actually the, the Israeli parliament. They run the Israeli government. So, I mean, I don't know who they're talking to, but I know I ain't listening to them when they're talking about peace, because I know peace when I see it. <laughs> it's funny, because I keep hearing this, this phrase from like far right um, sympathizers to Israel saying, we're fighting a war against, we're fighting a war against these people that want to push Jews into the river. You see, they can keep telling themselves that, because I ain't never seen it until today. They want to keep telling themselves that Palestinians want to push Jews into the river. But what I want to know is what are we going to do to stop them pushing Palestinians into the Jordan River? That's all I want to know, because that's what seems to be happening today with the Israeli settlements. And to be honest, <laughs> Their peace process is really what's keeping Palestinians in Israeli jails. It's really what is keeping settlements expanding. It's what's keeping the increasing numbers of Palestinian refugees. Free, free Palestine! Free, free! Free, free!